Look, I'm going to have to phone the police. And tell them what? Roy is in terrible danger. Hayley, this is Tony we're talking about. He's kind, caring, lovely Tony. Tony! When are you going to accept what is staring you in the face? Tony Gordon is a murderer. He murdered your husband. And if I don't do something now, my husband could be next. <sighs> I'm sorry for shouting at you. You were right. <sighs> oh. I better get going. Oh, let me walk you home. Oh, no, I'll be fine. You're going fine, Roy. Michelle, it's me. Um, can you come round to mine? I need to see you. to go down there by myself. Okay, Hayley, you're not making any sense to me. Where, where, where's Roy? He's at the canal. They should be back by now, but Tony's out there somewhere. <coughs> he, he's been threatening me and Roy. He, he said that he's going to sort us out. Roy found out. Tony killed Liam Connor. Please, we've, got, we've got to go. We've got to go. Okay, yeah, um... So the canal, um, this way, come on, it's quicker. <coughs> okay. <sighs> I'll come round for him as soon as I can. Thanks, RJ. Bye. Sorry I wasn't any quicker. I was in the shower. You OK? You look awful. What is it? Just sit down, Michelle. Is there something wrong with Liam? <gasps> Liam. How can this be happening? It feels like I'm going through it all over again. Real love, you're, um, <clears throat> you're not, you're not really making a lot of sense. Liam, your brother, my husband, is dead. It, it wasn't an accident, Michelle. Tony had him killed. Oh my god, that's his torch! 
Where is he, Pucky? No, don't panic. We're going to find him, Ailey. Ray! Ray, stop! What's happened? Are you all right? Yes, thank you. Oh, it's Ailey. It's Ailey. Guys! Oh. Everybody knows he did it. He's just walking the streets. Oh, my God. What? What if it was all an act? Or what? Me and him, what if he planned it? Well, well, why would he do that? Well, to get close to me so that he could kill me, or... Oh, no. Audrey, it's me. Is Liam OK? Oh. Right, please, can you jump in a taxi now and come round here? I'll explain everything when you get here. Right, thanks. <sighs> no, a little baby, surely. Oh, you don't know what he's capable of. Thank God you're safe. Go what did he do? He tried to kill me. Then he changed his mind and he saved me. I should have got here sooner. Oh, it's all right. I'm still in one piece, just. You say he tried to kill you. Let's get him to hospital before he gets in the morning. I've got one of the police. Right, you just stay there. Listen. Shh. What? The Pistrellis. In November. That's what I'm ahead of. Roy, always told me. That was the foggiest idea. Confess to a murder. Apparently, he just walked in. Cool, lass. Said he wanted to confess to murder. Where is he now? Changing out of his wet clothes. Solicitor? Doesn't want one. Let's get him interviewed then. More than a dip in the weather canal to break our oy, eh? You'd have worn out the flipping Gestapo if you'd been a prisoner of war. They'd have been jabbering idiots by the time he'd done with them. I, I, I'm, I'm perfectly fit and well, a little shaken and rather uncomfortable in this. I can't believe they're not keeping you in for observation. The, the last thing I want is to spend the night in here. I want my own bed. A very large mug of your cocoa and perhaps some soothing classical music. And then you will have it, my angel. Anything you want. I thought I'd lost you. Uh, not yet. No. But uh, thank you. Both of you. I don't think I've ever been happier to see anyone in my life. Wow. Um, Mr. and Mrs. Cropper? I'm, I'm, I'm Mrs. Cropper, yes, sir. Uh, and I'm Mr. Uh, Roy Cropper. DC Morgan. I believe you contacted us in connection with an attack on your husband. A attempted murder. Although he did also save you, so... Are you trying to defend him after everything he's done? He's a highly dangerous man and he's walking the streets of Manchester. Actually, no. Tony Gordon's in a custody suite. You've arrested him? He walked into the police station, handed himself in. Just for the record, while I'm in a confessing mood, I threw someone in the canal tonight. Mr Cropper? Well, you know... Our colleagues at the hospital talking to him now. So should I start with that? Or? Oh no. Let's start with the big one. I murdered Liam Connor. 
I arranged for his murder. How? I paid the driver of the car that killed him. And what's his name? Jimmy Dockerson. He's a mechanic in Hume. He was just hired help. I planned and executed it all with great care and precision. So Mr Cropper was right. And Marie before him. It was deliberate. Yes. So when did you start planning it? I'm not sure. Uh, I think when I found out Liam was sleeping with my fiancée. Carla? We were subsequently married, but we've since separated. Was she party to any of this? No. You see, I'm just trying to clarify your motive. Jealousy. Pure and simple. Lots of men get jealous, but they don't start arranging stuff people bumped off. But they don't have the means or the guts. I had both. So when did you discover the affair? I had my suspicions for some time, then I saw a video that confirmed them. The night Liam died was your stag night? Yeah. That's pretty sick. To kill someone on a night of celebration. I thought it was a perfect cover. And it worked. The only reason I'm here is because I walked through that door. You lot had nothing on me. Lots of witnesses, including Liam's wife. I thought I was doing her a favour. Thought she'd be better off without him. Better off with you, you mean? That wasn't planned. Why have you walked through that door? You've been interviewed several times and only this morning denied any involvement in Liam Connor's death. Why confess now? I can't live with the pretense anymore. I can't live with myself. Certainly can't live with anyone else. If you could sign here, here, and here, please. I feel like a famous person. <laughs> Bureaucracy, don't get me started. Well, as I said, Mr Gordon's currently in custody, so we'll put these accusations to him, probably tomorrow morning. You say he walked into the police station? Apparently. Now, I may need to interview you again, if that's OK. Uh, of course. OK, thank you. Well, thanks very much, Mr Cropper. Good night. Good night. G good night. Good night. Oh, very odd. I can only assume that Tony Gordon is finally making full confession. Or he'll make out that what happened tonight was somehow your fault, twist everything round. I don't think so. Deep, deep down, despite the terrible things he's done, that there is a shred of humanity. He nearly killed you. I could be standing in a mortuary now, identifying your body. Yes, but he couldn't go through with it. He's not a killer at heart. I suspected that all along. Oh, well, well done, Sherlock. Oh, God, I better think poor Maria. After he dragged me from the water, he made sure I was all right before he scurried off. I wish I'd have been there. I'd have tied bricks to his legs and shoved him back in. I sensed something in him that changed. The calm after the storm. I tried not to wake him, but the driver came down the street with all the speed bumps. Hey, Mummy's in now, baby. It's OK. Right, so what's going on? Oh, RJ, I don't know where to start. Oh, you get that? Oh. You know, when Tony had his heart attack, Roy Hello. was with him and... It's Hayley. Hayley? Have you found Roy? Is he OK? Well, listen, thank you for telling me. OK, bye. Roy's in hospital. Tony's attacked him tonight. Tony? Oh, is Roy OK? She just said Tony's handed himself into the police. No way. Look, would somebody mind explaining what's going on, please? Oh, Jay, if I put Liam down, will you sit yes, with him? Of course, sweetheart, but just tell me. Listen, I will explain properly what's going on, I promise I will, everything. Just as soon as I get back. Well, where are you going? Well, I've got to get down there. I've got to see him. It's nine o'clock at night, lover. I don't care. I've got to go down there. Right, well, then I'm coming with you. I always knew this would all come out. These things always do. Then I stupidly told Dry Cropper. In the hospital? He's like a dog with a bone. Practically stalking me. 
and the pressure's just been building and building every day. Then today, over a year after Liam died, I'm having to deny it all again to Maria. Liam Connor's widow. I looked into her eyes and I could tell she didn't believe me. I live for her and that baby. If I can't have them, you might as well lock me up and throw away the key. So you came straight here after talking to her? No, I took a detour to the canal, found Roy, who I blame for all this, by the way, and attacked him. But I couldn't go through with it. I'm not a killer, you see, it's not my nature. <laughs> but you made an exception for Liam Connor. Because he was making a fool of me, laughing behind my back. I couldn't let that carry on. I had to do something. And you chose to murder him? I've been living with the consequences ever since. Live with them forever. I, um, I understand my fiancé's there. What's your name? Maria Connor. And what's your fiancé's name? Tony Gordon. He is, yeah. They're just talking to him now. What about, do you know? I'm sorry, love, I can't give you any more information. Maria, it's not his fault. Sorry, she's just a bit upset. Mrs. Connor? Yeah? Could you come through, please? Do you want to take a seat? I'll be fine. Tony Gordon just confessed to murdering Liam Connor. I know it's no consolation, but after what he's just told me, I'm pretty confident we'll get a conviction. Where is he now? We're continuing to question him. Right, I want to see him. I'm afraid that's not possible. Please. I'm begging you. You heard what they said. Come on, bed. I, I just need to give Grant Robinson a call. No! I saw Pippa Strelli's in November. He saw your life flash before you. Well, at least let me log the details while they're fresh in my memory. Why, you've been through a terrible ordeal. You came face to face with a killer. Yes, but I'm fit and I'm well. Best not to speculate about what might have been. Five minutes. Maria. Why did you do it? Why? Please sit down. you look me in the eye? How could you kiss me knowing what you knew? Because I'd fallen in love with you. <laughs> it's true. I've never been happier in my life than in the last few months. There was a way I could have held on to it. I'm sleeping with your victim's wife. It's sick. It wasn't like that. Please, let me explain. What, did he give you a kick? No. What was your plan, Tony? Where was it all leading? Marriage. Our happiness. I thought I could atone for my sins. And who was going to be the next one to have a nasty accident, eh? Me? Liam? I would never lay a finger on that child. What I did, I've, I've tried to put behind me. Start a new life. My feelings for you and Liam were absolutely genuine. You used me. And I fell for it. The pathetic widow. I let you wheedle your way into my house. Into my bed. Let's not rewrite the past. What we had was real. Oh, good, I'll give you that. My tower of strength delivering my baby. The thought of it makes me feel sick. Hate me for what I did to Liam. But don't let it sully the precious time we had. So just tell me what you were planning then, why? Why did you do it? Our future. I wanted you and I to grow old together. I wanted to be a father to Liam. Don't you say his name. Don't you even mention him again. He is nothing to you. I loved you. I'm sorry for what I did to Liam. But I'm more sorry for what I did to you. But I'm still alive. Liam's not. 
You saw to that. I know. I've regretted that since the day it happened. You are evil. No. That's why I did this. I couldn't live with myself anymore. Yeah. Well, it's a pity you have to live at all. If there was any justice in this world, they'd hang you. And I'd watch. And I'd cheer. And then I'd dance on your grave. All right, time's up. I love you, Maria. I love you! <laughs> And if you have any questions, you've a chance to put them to Corey producer Kim Crowther now. She's answering them live at itv.com slash Corrie. Next, it's a tale of two camps and I'm a celebrity where fans also get the chance for some live discussion. Just go to itv.com slash celebrity.